Listen, listen. I want you to teach my kids technique. Technique, it's just, I remember ever since I was a young kid, just going around to different clubs and stuff, and you just pick up a little bit of everything, uh, and then you apply it to your wrestling, apply it in your practices, and um, sooner or later it'll come, come along nicely. So I'll be more than welcome to help out your, with your kids with technique. Dude, you're doing a snatch single. You're literally just grabbing their leg. You're not hitting a shot a lot of the time. You're bending your knees, and you're grabbing their leg. Mm -hmm. I'm not making that up. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. But all your motion and all your setups, you're, you're like, it feels, feels like the guy's like, oh, where is he coming, going, <laughs> right? It's yeah. the motion sets it up. Mm -hmm. Just a lot like stance of motion, a lot of visualizing. Um, a lot of times when I'm not doing anything, I, I just think about different selves, maybe different things I haven't thought about differently um, and just feeding off of their pressure. So like if I pressure in one way, I know if they're going push in this way, I'll just a little drop down uh, and just trial and error. That's what practice is for. That's like when you try new things, see what works and see what doesn't. Uh, so that's kind of where that kind of came along a couple of years ago, which is trial and error. I was like, wait a second, this works. And then a couple of times more it worked. And I'm like, hey, this, this is a pretty good little technique. It's beautiful. And then you're hitting low singles too. You're hitting all these like snatch single type offenses. Mm -hmm. It's like awesome. I love it. Thank you. I'm like, you, should, you go watch a video. You can watch it right now. It's already on YouTube. Um, I'm just like super impressed by the technique and how much you're moving. How yeah. much you're moving, how much the in, the out, the side to side. It's like the guy doesn't know if you're coming or going. Yeah, and a lot of that, um, just when I'm moving like that, I have fun out there. Like getting a good clean shot off and like a good quick uh, takedown and stuff. That, that makes it fun. Uh, when I'm overthinking stuff, I, I kind of slow down, become stagnant out there. So I can just attribute that to uh, good coaching all of my life and then just having fun out there. It just really helps me move around, um, see things in a different light other than like if this doesn't work, then that kind of dampens my performance. If that doesn't work, I just move on to the next thing, maybe move on to a different shake, move on to a different shot. North Toledo to Painesville, it's a little different. Yes, yes. What do you think of the snow here? You know... I, I thought in Toledo we we got our fair share of snow. I was wrong last year. <laughs> You're very wrong. I was like, ho holy cow, this is a lot of snow. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. See what they did there? Yeah, yeah okay. I like that. God, I'm from Toledo. I didn't even say that. Holy Toledo, yeah. A lot of snow um, coming out and it's like almost up to my chest level. I'm like, And you're tall. Dude, that's the other thing. You're tall. massive for 57. How was your cut? Um, this year, I'm a lot more disciplined. Like last year, I would cut the liquids and stuff way, way too early, and you never want to cut that. So I was. You should like, only have to do one workout where it's like that, right? Yeah. Um, Dehydrating yourself, anything close, you know, like before 12 hours is bad. Yeah. So like, uh, just staying very disciplined. A lot of clean food, a lot of chicken breast rice, uh, good carbs. Not eating Twinkies or anything, but like that. But like good whole grain stuff, and I think that's really helped. Um, and then also, like, last week we did our, um, um, our Westloff, our um, indicator matches, um, and I think that kind of helped to see, like, what was good for my weight cut and what was bad. So I think just having that before this week was a little bit better for me. What are you going to be when you grow up? What's your major here? Um, I'm a criminal justice major. I either want to be a U.S. Marshal. I have an interview with them in December for an internship or... Um, a FBI profiler. Okay. There's an office right here by the Huntington Bank. It's like right over here. Way over there. Yeah, okay. like right here. I'm pointing at it. All right. It's like right over there by the Huntington Bank here. There's a Huntington Bank building. The FBI is right there. Awesome. I'll, That's yeah, real I'll thing. Do. Not making it up. Okay. I always hear how good of a human you are. A lot of people talk about how good of a guy you are. Mm -hmm. I don't really talk to a lot of people about how good of a person they are. Right? Yeah. But I hear great things about you. Why are you such a nice guy? Why does everybody say these nice things about you? I think I can contribute that to my parents over there. Um, and just from an early age, they taught me respect. Both of them served in the military, both Army combat medics. So like from a young age, a lot of it was respect. And you, if you respect other people, they respect you. And then also just surrounding yourself with good people. I've been very blessed all my life that I've been surrounded by very good people. My coaches at Whitmer, the Burnettes, the Burnettes were big um, you know I'm a Bernat guy. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, yeah. You know that. Um, Eric and Scotty are out of this world. Um, my coaches at Whitmer, Fowler, Morris, um, Bods, just all those guys over there. Um, 
good guys at Dundee and stuff. I went um, Tim Roberts. Just, I've been very blessed. Um, was it 20 minutes from North Toledo? Yeah. And it, was, that. it was perfect. It, it and was, Bedford's right there too. Yeah. So I've just been very blessed with like where I was at location-wise where I could be surrounded by all these good um, people and just – positivity rubs off and just being around them and their positivity definitely made me who i am today season's so long dude it is it's like so long but we're at the beginning of a 70 degree day today yeah that uh, i mean the snow could be like waist deep next week like it's yeah. crazy what do you take away from the momentum from this first big win for you guys around a 12 right i think last year's a top 10 guy guy's pretty good mm -hmm. right um what do you take away and how do you keep this momentum through february march um, I think just fine-tuning the little things, uh, you know, uh, you can always pick stuff up from wins. Uh, it's not like, like film never lies. So go back to um, Coach Boomer, look at the film, see the little things I might have done wrong. I know a couple of times I was in on a shot, I didn't finish fast enough. Um, so look back at that things, but um, just also, I think, carry the momentum into our practice too. Boomer has a very good practice schedule when I, um, practice um regiment wedger, so i think that just also kind of helps carry the momentum of just working our tails off and with how hard we're working good things will happen i like it got anything else for me um i don't think that's about it thank you for the time good luck to you guys do mind dad stay over tonight or do they go home um i think um they're uh, going ahead home my dad is actually doing a hike uh for suicide awareness for veterans okay um, Tuesday morning, he's waking up at four o'clock and hiking to Ann Arbor. He's starting at the um, VA hospital in Toledo and hiking um, with his rucksack um, to the um, forty miles. He said around sixty to the Ann Arbor. Sixty to the Ann Arbor VA. VA. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and so he did a, um, a go like a GoFundMe or shared a um, like a nonprofit um, fundraiser for. Um, veteran suicide awareness that's that's huge i gotta give him a shout out what's he, your dad's name kelly haskin kelly haskin yeah he's right over there with a uh, mommy hat um oh, there oh there walking. why's he got a mommy hat on so he's got a mommy hat um, on? army hat i thought he said mommy yeah, i was like come on now yeah army hat. we want to talk about that yeah uh, army hat um so just kind of uh, he does he's been doing stuff like that giving back to the veterans i think also that's kind of just helped me become who I am too. I love it. Thank you for the time. Keep grabbing people's legs in a really simple way. Will do.